Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Prasad and in this video we are going to see how we are setting up the Google Cloud SDK in our local computer. And for that basically uh, we will go to this document. I have copied this command, open the PowerShell and simply pasted this command with whatever I have copied from the official documentation. And just like any other installation, just click on next, 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 select the path where you want to install. Uh, see all the necessary options are checked. I will keep it as default or add one more option and simply click on install and this install will get started. Now from where I have copied this command, everything I will share in the description. I will give the link in the description. It is very simple. Go to that page, copy the command and paste it in PowerShell. Okay. Once the installation is finished, simply click on finish and automatically uh, the new uh, tab in the you know default browser will get open along with the command prompt. Okay, Com Windows command prompt. It will get automatically open. It will check your connection, check your accesses. Uh, do you want to continue? Click on yes, type Y and it will automatically open this browser for sign up. Now click on the Gmail account, whatever you have logged in or you want to log in or you want to connect your Google Cloud to which Gmail ID. So just click on allow here and see now you are authenticated with G Cloud CLI. Very easy. After authentication, you will pop up all the object. It will show up all the object which you have access or you have created. So I will, uh, I will select project number 2, so I have type 2. Now this command prompt will get connected to the Marin Bruin project. The Marin Bruin is the ID of the project and not name of the project. Now if I do simply uh, dir to show all the files which is present or downloaded via Cloud SDK, you will see all the files. Google Cloud SDK, install mode, uh, uninstaller, bytes, etc, etc. And you will see the path where uh, the cloud SDK got installed, which is C users, Prasad, app data, etc. Now, if you copy paste that path in the address bar of the file explorer, you'll open that, uh, you open that folder or a directory. Now what I'll do inside that directory, I'll create a sample text file. Let's say sample.txt and inside that txt file, basically I'll add some random text. Let's say this is a sample file and I'll just save it and close it. Okay, now this is the sample file. If I do again dir, I'll sh uh, the sample.txt is shown here. This dir is nothing but similar to ls in Unix, but because I'm on Windows, the command is dir to show all the files or to list all the files. Now here to open Google Cloud Console, we have to type the URL console.cloud.google.com in your browser. Okay, once you type this, this kind of window will get appear where you'll see you are working on my first project. Okay. And in the header, you can select the projects or change the project as well. See, I have access to two projects, my first project, whose ID is Marin Bruin, which we have selected. And also you can see the information uh, in the first page itself. If you see project number is this, 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 but project ID is Marin Bruin and project name is my first project. Now, if you go to navigation men menu, you'll see all the services provided by Google Cloud. I will simply select the cloud storage. Okay, cloud storage consider just like Google Drive where we can, you know, upload the files uh, on the internet, on the Google server, Google Cloud server, and we can access from anywhere. We just have to, we just have to log into our Gmail ID. Okay, now I will create a bucket. Bucket is nothing but, you know, master folder under which we can store all our object. Okay. So what is Google cloud storage and its concept? I will create a separate video to go into the details, but for now I will just create a, you know, a sample bucket. I have given a globally unique name. Then I will choose the location type, which is we are having multi-regional, dual regional and regional. And amongst that, uh, the regional is the cheapest one. So I'll click on the region and I'll click on continue. Now we have to select the storage classes, which in which we have four options, standard, nearline, line, cold line, and archive. 
So basically, standard is for you know better uh, frequently access file. So I'll just keep it that way. Default is standard only. So I'll keep it that way. Uh, the control access to object. It basically we have two options: uniform and fine grained. So it's basically who can access uh, the files with whatever we are uploading on cloud storage, right? So by default is uniform. I will not change it. I'll just click on uniform and continue. The next thing is production data objects. So we have none object versioning and object policy. So I'll simply keep it none by default and data encryption. I'll say, you know, Google, uh, let Google manage my encryption key and everything, right? And I will simply click on the create button. So now if you see a bucket has been created. Now again, go to the navigation menu. Again, go to navigation menu and click on Go to navigation menu and click on cloud storage. Now you'll see one bucket got created here, right? One master folder got created. Now inside this master folder and you'll see all the attributes by the way, location type, location, storage class, public access, we have not kept it public. Uh, access control is uniform, protection is none, right? Because it adds more cost and encryption is Google managed encryption, right? Now, if I click on this bucket, so this is just like a master folder. Without master folder, we cannot upload any files or create any files, right? So now, once I'm inside the bucket or inside the master folder, I can simply drag and drop here. Any file, it can be of any size and any type. Now you see upload started. I'll close it and one file got uploaded. Now you'll see the file here. Okay, now you can, it is uploaded on cloud storage. You can access it from any computer. You just have to log into this console.cloud.google.com and go to cloud storage. That's all. Now here we can uh, do multiple things with this files, right? Files object. You can rename, you can copy paste, uh, you can move the files or you can, you know, download the file, delete the file. Every option is the here in the UI. UI is nothing but user interface. All the options or all the operations we can do via UI, user interface. There is no need of coding here, right? Now you see file got deleted here, right? Now, again, if I want to go to uh, this one, command, uh, command prompt, right? And I use gsutil tool, okay? If I want to do the same operation, but instead of user interface, I want to do it from command line, then it is very simple, you can use, let's say to move a file, right? Now here we are moving the file from our local system to cloud bucket, right? This command prompt, whatever you are seeing, this is, uh, if you see the address, it is C Windows system, right? So this is my local computer. This is my local folder, local computer. Now in my local computer, whatever file, I have that moved it to cloud storage. Now, if you see, it got deleted from the file, uh, you know, folder explorer, and it got uploaded to cloud storage. So I have moved from local to cloud via gsutil command. Firstly, we have just used drag and drop. Now we have used gsutil command to move the file. Okay. Now, if we click on the file, you'll see when the file uploaded, what is the size, what is the type, when it is last modified, what is the storage class. This is called as a metadata of a file. It, it is information about the file. And if you see the URL, it will give you URL of that particular file. You see, if you find the URL, this will give you all the text which is written inside that file. Right? This is called as URL, authenticated URL, right? And to open that URL also, you need to log in. So it is all secure. But there is one more parameter called as gsutil URI, right? So whenever you, you are using the command line tool, gsutil tool, you have to use this URI and not URL, okay? So for example, I want to see the uh, text content or I want to edit the access, right? There are a lot of options. You can download, you can see version history, Right, you can see version history here. Okay, but we will not go into much into details. 
we will see what is this URI. URI generally starts with gs colon slash slash, right? And again, if I go to uh, my local command prompt, I will put gsutil hyphen cat and then the URI, sorry, ls. Let's do ls first. Let's see what all files are present under this bucket. Okay. And sample dot txt let's say sample dot txt you can simply copy the full uri you can copy the full uri here copy and paste paste enter uh sorry it's not ls i guess it is uh simply ls gs util ls yeah you see this file is present for sure ls is list object basically we are checking if the file is present or not but instead of ls if we do simply cat so we will see all the content which is present inside that txt you see so this is the text we have added inside the file what we have seen via url as well using user interface we just copied url and paste so this is how you set up cloud sdk in your local computer